Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have the Dragon Overcast unboxing and review from Spin Master Master Jam. Let's get right into it. So as you guys saw by the intro of this video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Dragon Overcast from Spin Master Master Jam Mix 5 assortment. Let's go to the back here. We do have the Jurassic Attack, Rage of the Legend, which I've already unboxed and reviewed. The Dragonoid, which I don't have. Jurassic Attack, I also don't have. Education, I don't have. Um, we have the Nomad Avenger, which I have. Stone Unleashed, and the Blue Thunder, which I also have those two. And then the truck that I will probably never ever find is the Training Trucks Grave Digger. But today we do have the Dragon. I'm Master, and we have the regular one to compare it to. So yeah, guys. Um, without further ado, let's get into the Spin Master Monster Jam Dragon Overcast. Spin Master Monster Jam again, just so you can look at the packaging again. And there it is. Let's get right into it. Here we go, guys, for the review part of the Dragon Overcast from Spin Master Monster Jam. Here we have the nameplate, the normal dragon logo with a gray figure on the poster, of course. Not gonna go into that um, because everyone else has already, already reviewed this truck and all that stuff. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, we do have the light gray rims that are also used on Overcasts a lot. Um, we have a black roll cage. I can't really pick it up in white. There you go. A black roll cage. We have a plate chassis. Uh, light gray rims, like I said. No BKT printing because that wasn't uh, in the Mix 5 assortment, I think, uh, until Mix. Until it was Mix 6 doubled, I think. So, yeah, the overcast, the full part of the overcast is actually to have. The original truck in a black and gray form. Um, they switched over, so basically they kept a highlighted color, and it's like a washed out version of this, where the rest is all black and gray and white. Um, the one thing I do like about this dragon is they do have the horns from a black to a um, white color, just like they had for the El Toro Loco of Fire Nice. They always have gradients in a lot of trucks where the ultra local horn is uh, light blue to white. So yeah, um, just so that she got there. So here are the differences. We have basically, as you can see here, a washed out version of the dragon. Instead of an orange windshield, we have a gray. Of course, they kept a little coloring inside of the nose, so like a little bit of a highlight color. And then let's just over like that. There you go. Back is just gray. And there you go. So we also have a gray base instead of chrome. And that's the comparison. So now we have the axle truck itself. Let's go into the detail. So of course we have the gray rim, the Mosham logo. Here's the body itself. We have a we have the dragon logo, all colored in, in yellow and orange. You mean with, uh, from the outside from the mouth, where it has a lot of yellow. Where from the original, a lot of the orange that has been in there has been washed out, as you can tell. So the orange highlight around the yellow has been washed out. We have the whole truck is just gray and like black and white. It's like a huge, beautiful mixture of it. So the eye is kept yellow, just with the yellow hue, took the orange out. Nostrils, they have a little bit of orange, but a lot of yellow in it. They have the, uh, the, um, they kept the color for these spikes, which is yellow. I mean, oh, yellow, sorry, white. Uh, we have the gradients of the gray and light gray color. Here's again. Gray, light gray, cool colors. 
through the top. They also have, which I like the detail of, instead of an orange windshield, they have a gray windshield. So, there's the difference right there. So you can easily tell it's orange, and then here you can easily tell it's like a gray. Which I like the gray, it would have made no sense to have the orange windshield, because here you don't see any orange really. Except for maybe on the logo, a tiny, tiny bit in the mouth, but that's it. So there isn't really much to review on this truck other than the color itself of the dragon. Uh, this truck is very, very cool. Uh, I would suggest get it if you don't have it yet. Which, if you don't have it yet, I don't really understand you. I you don't have it yet. Um, it's a beautiful truck. I love it a lot. I consider picking this up if you are a dragon fan as well. Um, the color of the logo is actually also changed here. I think it's the black marshal logo. Right, so this is the black Mafia logo. Here we have the normal Mafia logo. Yes, guys, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry, guys, not that long of a video, but of course, just an unboxing review, and it's just basically a color change from the original. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please let me know what you guys think about the this this truck, not these. This truck. I'm just putting this one there for the sake of it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the Dragon Overcast by Spin Master Monster Jam, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone. Let me know what you think, and goodbye.